The Golden State Warriors have dominated the NBA for the last decade. Having won the championship four times since 2015, the Warriors haven't been in this situation very often. However, with just one championship since 2018, it's becoming more reasonable to ask if their championship window is closing. After back-to-back -back disappointing finishes to the season, where does Golden State go from here? Watching their game on Tuesday night against the Kings, it was pretty obvious that the Warriors need a true number two option behind Steph Curry. Klay Thompson was that option for so many years, but after back-to-back no-shows from Klay the past two playoffs, it's time for the dubs to make a splash. Pun intended. Over the past few off-seasons, the Warriors have tried to get younger through the draft, selecting pieces like Trace Jackson Davis, Jonathan Kaminga, and Brandon Budzimski. While these are all solid players and can contribute to a winning team, none are currently viewed as a true number two on a championship team. So how do the Warriors improve for the 2024-2025 season? It starts with subtraction. The Warriors will need to make two key decisions before they can even think about adding to their team. Number one is moving on from Chris Paul. His salary is eating into the cap, and while he can still contribute, it just doesn't make sense it is nearly $30 million salary to bring him back. This money can be made more useful elsewhere. The Warriors are going to need to move on from CP3. Speaking of insane salaries, Klay Thompson made $40 million this year, and while it's expected that the Warriors will, quote, take care of their superstars, as Draymond Green said he expects him to, it'll be in the best interest of the team for Klay to take a little bit of a pay cut to stick with the Warriors. You shed the Chris Paul salary and save some money on Klay Thompson compared to this year, now we're cooking. Okay, enough with the corny puns. After the Warriors cut bait with Chris Paul and cut back on Klay Thompson, where do they turn? Having extra money in your pocket isn't going to win you a championship. Where do they go out and spend? Taking a look at the free agent class this year, I've got to say I'm not too impressed. There are a couple of names here. James Harden, although I don't think the Warriors try another ball-dominant guard. DeMar DeRozan, although that doesn't feel right unless the Warriors trade Andrew Wiggins. And what about bigs? The Warriors have been picked apart in recent years due to their size. Is it time for the Warriors to go out and finally target a big? Taking a look here, the best option in free agency is looking like Jonas Valanciunas, and I don't know that that feels right either. Here's where I feel that the trade market comes into play. You have pieces like Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, Chris Paul, and a lot of these younger players that you've acquired in recent drafts. Do the Warriors go out and get a guy like Jarrett Allen to get some size inside? Something to consider. But what if there's another option out there? One that allows you to keep your core of Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and add another superstar. It might be hard to picture him in a Warriors jersey, but what if the Warriors put together a trade package for none other than Kevin Durant? Would bringing KD back spring the Warriors back to prominence in the Western Conference? Is this even a realistic idea? Remember, the Warriors did try to acquire LeBron James at last year's trade deadline. A reunion not coming to fruition wouldn't be because of the Warriors' lack of trying. What if the Suns have a disappointing playoff run and Durant decides that he wants out of Phoenix? Maybe he'd want back to the Bay, where he shined alongside Curry while making the NBA Finals in all three seasons he was with the team. Enticing to think about for sure, but I do think that the Warriors have what it takes to pull off a trade for Durant. It would start with Andrew Wiggins, and then would most likely need to include pieces like Jonathan Kaminga and Brandon Budzimski, and maybe the Warriors could unload Chris Paul back on the Suns in the trade as well. Then you've got Curry, Thompson, Durant, and Draymond all reunited, and while the depth of the team would be put to the test with aging superstars, you could give it one last run at getting back to the promised land. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Where do you feel that the Warriors go from here? Do they look to build through free agency or by flipping a trade? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're a rock star. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.